Hello everyone, welcome to 30 minutes learning. Today we are going to start a new session for absolute beginner. So in this section we have the two levels. So level 1 we are talking about SAP Web ID setup and um, UFI intro. Then we are going to discuss about that pattern, MVC pattern. So model view controller. So in that model view controller, we are explicitly talking about that view. It's a XML view. Then JavaScript controller, we're going to discuss. Then we're going to discuss model JSON and XML both. Then we're going to discuss about that binding, aggregation, expression, and element. After that, finally, we're going to discuss formatter and uh, some other functions okay so let's start with our web ID setup I don't want to time waste in that PPT let's start so here just type at SAP cockpit in Google then you can see that a lot of links so just click that second one sap cloud platform cockpit home okay click here then you can see that sap cloud platform so here if you have that account just log in if you don't have that account first register it's a uh, very simple information only they are asking basic informations like uh, your email address name company and mobile number that's all okay once you create it then you can log on to our SAP cloud cockpit okay it will navigate okay just click that logon once you register then click that logon then it will navigate to this page here you are register mail id and password to log on okay so this initial screen you can see if you register with uh, europe group your uh, region then you see this account it's a trail home then click here So this is our trial platform. Okay, here we have that lot of options. SAP Web ID and the CLI for cloud platform and the API for SAP cloud platform. Lot of options they given. So if you not enable that Web ID, then if you click this Web ID, then you get that error. So first we need to enable web ID for our account. So little bit scroll down. Here you see that environment. You can see that two environments. One is for Cloud Foundry, another one is a Neo Trail. So I would suggest to use that Neo Trail. It's a um, lifetime version. Cloud Foundry, it's limited version. It's a 90 days only validity. So just click that access new trial okay then it will navigate to cockpit so initial screen it's a overview page it will look like this okay here left side you have that lot of options here you can see that services click here that service okay then you can find out SAP Web ID full stack if you see it's enable so in my account it's already enable in your account it's uh, initially it's not enable look like this so if you need to enable click here then 
it will ask me to enable on button so if you click then it will enable okay once you enable then it will show that green icon like this that means you are successfully enable web ID for your account then you can proceed that con go to services if you click it will navigate to our web ID so this is um, our web ID initial loading screen it will load depends on your network speed it's take time okay so initially you not get this project actually only was workspace only you see it's a training empty workspace I have a lot of workspaces um, that's why this is one of my workspace you can see it's a work, workspace manager and training so this training workspace only you see and the bottom you are you never see any projects don't worry we can create a new projects in the future section so here initially we're going to set up something for our future development in the web ID. okay so click that preference gear icon then you can see that code editor so this code editor you can change your theme code editor theme like um, it will give it some coloring like this your web ID will look like this code editing so if you are absolute beginner so I would suggest you to use that SAP Columbus so it, if you want to change that font size you can change here and um, enable this so options save option automatically save every 30 seconds it will if it is not enabled just enable here and the auto hint just enable and click save okay then click that extension here you need to enable the storyboard if you little bit scroll down you can see that storyboard option just turn on this toggle button then you can see this storyboard icon initially you you see that um, this two uh, three options like uh, home and um, development and gear icon so if you enable the storyboard then you can see that storyboard option like this so this storyboard option in our future videos we're going to uh, develop some application based on this storyboard that's why I said um, just enables this extensions okay so this setups if you done then our first topic we are completed thank you